Are you able to see the screen now? Yes. Okay. So, do you have any doubts? Whatever we discussed yesterday, like creating the same account, Salesforce account. After that, we started creating project. Any doubts? Priya, I had a couple questions and I made a note in a Word document. I was not sure where to send them. Okay. So, if you want, you can ask me now. So when we are creating an object, yeah. yeah, actually I took the screenshots in the Word document and I kept it. I mean, I can send it to you. Hello? Yes. Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Yes. My, I'll my create it. Are, yeah. So when we create an object, there are couple options that are in the below that I was not mm -hmm. sure uh, about them whether we need to select them or not. Okay. So for now, I'm I'm not discussed about. We will see those options in the next session. Okay. Then okay. next once we complete the concepts, we will see that options also. What is the use of that? Like. Okay. Do we need to check that or not? Like you have few doubts, right? We will see that. Okay. Any other doubts? Anyone is having any doubts? Uh, not yet on that. Okay. So, in the last session, we created one object. Like mm -hmm. Just what we did is, we created one Salesforce account. Mm -hmm. Post drop com site and we created an account. After creating the account, we started mm -hmm. discussing about the objects. So by default, Salesforce will give some standard objects. And whatever the objects we are going to create, those are custom objects. Mm -hmm. Right. So we also created one custom object. In the last class, we created one custom object. The object name is employee object. We created one custom object that is employee. So in that employee object, we will get some standard fields by default. Those are created by last modified by. Owner, fourth one is employee name. So, like we got some standard fields. So, till this we discussed. Any doubts in that? Like creating objects or anything? Any doubts here? Uh, no, no, not in that. Okay, so now next we will see how to create the custom fields. Next we are going to see how to create the custom fields. So like yesterday we discussed about this creating custom objects. By following these steps we created the custom objects. So once we create the custom object, here we got some standard fields. 
these are the standard fields we got it created by last modified by owner name next we are going to see how to create the custom fields so like we want to create some custom fields mm -hmm. like our object is employee in employee object we want to create some fields like salary is one field commission is one field assistant number employee designation employee email id like this we want to create some fields so whatever the fields we are going to create by our own mm -hmm. those fields we will call it as custom fields the fields whatever we are going to create by our own those fields we will call it as custom, custom fields so before going to create these custom fields first we have to discuss about the data types so what is the use of these data types so while creating these fields we have to select one data type we have to select the data type so based on this data type only that type of value we are going to store into the custom field so for example if i give the data type for this field as number then in this salary field only we will able to store number values numbers only not characters not any special characters only the numeric values it will allows us to store into that field so before going to create this field we have to discuss what are the data types available in the salesforce to create these custom fields so we will see some data types okay so you are able to see the screen right yes so if you see here now we want to create these fields salary one field we want to create mm -hmm. designation hr in joining date employee known technologies commission hr in assistant number like this we want to create some fields so before that we are going to discuss some data types so here we have these data types number is one data type mm -hmm. so this is used to store the only the numbers numeric values we will able to store into that it allows us to store only numbers for any field if we give the data type as number in that field only we will able to store numeric values if you are trying to store any characters or any special symbols it will display the error message okay so if it is a salary means it will be in the numeric like 10000 or 5000 or 15000 like that the value will be there the value will not be like this like 15000 a some symbols this kind of thing will be not allowed because it's a number thing only numeric values it will allow text is one data type so this is used to store the combination of characters and numbers so if you are giving the data type as text in that field we can store characters alphabetics special symbols numbers everything everything it will treat it as text whatever the text we will enter everything it will treat it as text so we can enter any value for example something some text whatever we will enter everything it will treat it as text only so in the text field we can enter alphabetics numbers special characters everything it will allow whatever the value we will enter it will treat it as x so for employee name field we will give the data type as text 
So for salary field, we will give the data type as number. Next, next we have another data type, date. Date is one data type. This is used to store the date value. So that field will accept only the date format value. For example, we want to create one field that is employee joining date. So for that field, we will give the data type as date. So in the only we will able to select the date value. Okay. So once we create the field, date field, then automatically we will get the calendar. So we no need to enter the date manually here. Just we have to select the date. That's it. Next checkbox is one data type. If we select the checkbox, true value will be saved. If we are not selecting, false value will be saved. Next quick list is one data type. So here quick list. If we give the data type as quick list, we will get one drop down. It's like a kind of drop down. In the drop down. It will contain some options. So whatever the options we want to display in the drop down, we have to provide the values while creating the quick list. So let's say for example, I want to create one field, employee designation. So for this field, I'm giving the data type as quick list. So once we give this data type as quick list, we will get the drop down for this. So in this drop down, we want to display some options. What are the options we have to display? We have to provide those values. Like I want to display these values. Project managers. We can give any values. Like whatever the values we want to display, we will give those values manually. So these values only displayed in the drop down. So now in this drop down, we want to display these values. So if it is a drop down kind of thing, in the drop down, only we will be able to select one value. See, if you are filling any form in the online, there we will get some drop downs, some pick list kind of thing. Right. See, for example, if you are filling any form, where we will get one drop down like country. For example, in that country drop down, it will display all the countries, right? In these options, how many options we will able to select? If it's a kind of drop down. How many values we can select at a time? Only one value, either USC or UK, like that, right? So if we create quick list, we will get the drop down. In the drop down, what are the values we want to display? We have to provide those values while creating that field. Clear. Any doubts here? Uh, no. So, pick list is one data type. So, in this pick list, we will display the option. There, we will able to select only one value, not more than one value. Next, next we have another data type. Pick list of multi-select. If we select this pick list of multi-select, it is also like a kind of drop down only. But here we will able to select multiple values. If it is pick list, only one value we can select. If it is pick list of multi-select, we can select multiple values in the field. See for example, I have a field like courses is one field in that we will display some values 
in that the user can select multiple values because we are giving the data type as pick list of multi select so multiple values we can select next here we discussed about textings one data type so in this text data type we can store alpha numerics special symbols everything here the length of this field is 250 characters only we are creating text field in the text field only we will able to insert 250 characters not more than that if you want to store more than 250 characters next we have another data type here that is text area text area is one data type if you are creating any field with this text area data type we can store up to 32000 characters you can enter numbers special symbols everything the text field data type is length is 250 characters here the text area field length is 32000 plus characters it will allow okay. us to store 32000 plus characters and date time date time in the date we will in the date data type only we will able to store the date value if we create the date time field in this we will able to for the date and time value this is the data type will allow us to store date and time values for that field next currency is one data type so for any data for any field if we give the data type as currency whatever the value we will enter at the end of that value it will display the dollar symbol so like this If I give only five thousand, at the end automatically it will appear the dollar, dollar symbol, currency, currency symbol it will display. Logged in user, currency. For example, if the logged in user region is USA, then it will display dollar. If the logged in user region is UK, then it will display euro symbol. So like that. Next percent is one symbol. So in that field, if we enter any value, at the end of that value, it will appear the percentage symbol. So like this, forty-five percent. If we enter sixty-three in the value, it will appear automatically the percentage symbol. Next email is one data type. For any field, if we give the data type as email, it will accept the value in the form of email ID. For example, I give in the data type as email, but if I am giving the value like this, it is not in the form of email ID, so it will display the error. If I give the value like this, it is in the form of email ID, so it will accept correct value. If you are giving not in the email ID format, this is not in the email ID format. then we will display error message this is wrong value because for this field for any field if we give the data type as email always the value should be in the form of email id only so like that next phone is one data type if you want to store any phone number with the help of this phone data type we can do that next text text area of rich text if you want to store any images if you want to store any images in the fields we can use this data type text area of rich text so we can store the images and whatever the text we will enter in that we can format that text also if you want to make it bold italic like that we can do that so like these are the different data types available so number is one data type 
text is one data type date date time pick list pick list of multi select email id email phone percent currency like these are the data types available let's now we discuss it next text area text area of which text checkbox like these are the data types available so is it clear these data types whatever we discussed till now yes so now in our employee object we want to create some fields in our employee object now we want to create few fields what are those fields we want to create employee member employee salary employee designation employee email id um, yes employee known technologies and employee email id employee image next employee commission like we want to create the few fields we can create as many fields we want to create or no we want to create this few fields for example employee number salary designation known technologies email id employee phone number also employee joining date so now we have to decide for which field we want to give which data type so now tell me which data type is used for this field for employee number now we discussed the data type right? uh, number yes correct what about the salary number yes for salary we can give as a number or currency anything next what about the designation uh, country text yeah we can take it pick list. text yes we can take it text or pick list if we give text as data type we have to enter the value manually like uh, like developer or like this we have to enter values manually if we create pick list in this pick list we will display the values like whatever the values we want to display these values will be displayed so we can select any one value from that pick list next what about the employee known technologies yes this is also pick list multi select yeah. here i will give the multi select because employee will know the multiple languages right multiple technologies so here also we will display the values like this java or some options so in this multiple values we can select because we are giving the data type as pick list of multi select next what about this employee email id what is the data type to for this email email yes. next employee image for this text area is text exactly text area 
Which text? Mm. What about the employee phone number? Phone. What about the employee phone number? Number. Phone. 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 We have the phone oh, data. Phone so we can do it. Okay. Next, employee joining date. Date. Date or time? Yes. Date is the data type available. So we can give that. Commission. Her commission? Assentage. Number. Assentage. Assentage. Yes. Percentage. Sorry? Mm -hmm. Yes, here we can give either number or currency or person, whatever. We can decide anyone. Okay. Now, these are the fields we want to create in our custom object, right? Custom fields. These are the custom fields we want to create in which object? Employee. In which object we want to create this? Employee custom object, right? Mm -hmm. We created employee custom object. In this employee custom object, we want to create these custom fields. Mm -hmm. So how to create those custom fields, we will see now. So. Whatever fields we got by default, those are standard fields. Now, whatever fields we are going to create, those are custom fields. So, creating custom fields. How to create this custom field? Creating custom fields. So, how to create this custom fields? Here, click on setup, build objects. There we will select employee object. In that employee object, we will go to the custom fields and relationship section. In the custom fields and relationship section, we will click on the new button to create the custom fields. Once we click on the new button, we have to choose the data type. So, for example, we want to create these fields. First, we have to select the data type. After that, we will give the field name. So, now we will create the fields. So now, I am going to the object. So, here, left side, under build, create objects so here click on employee object uh, are you able to see this yes yes so in the employee object just uh, if you scroll down here below to this standard field section we are able to see this custom fields and relationship. Mm -hmm. In this custom fields and relationship section, we will create the, we will click on the new button to create the new custom. New button. So in the custom fields and relationship section, I clicked on the new button. Are you able to see the data types here?
Hello? Screen got stuck, Priya. Okay, just a second. Now, are you able to see anything? Yeah, we can see. Yeah, we can look at the screen. Yeah. So, now in this employee object, we want to create custom fields. Right. So, we go to the standard fields. Oh, it's it's yeah, this custom screen. No, I think you put your I think screen is screen frozen, right? Just now I selected this custom fields and relationships. Are you able to see that? Yeah. No. Right. The mouse is just on the new button. That yeah, it is the same thing. Oh. What about no? Blue screen. Yeah, it's a blue screen. Yeah. Blue screen. So what about now? No. Still, still the same? I think it's good now. You can see the pattern here. to see this? Just now I selected custom fields in the relationship. Yes. So in this custom fields in the relationship section, here we will click on the new button. So I am clicking on this new button. Mm -hmm. Once we click on the new button, here these are the data types we will able to see. So are you able to see your new custom field? Yes. Yes. So here we have the data types. These data types we will discuss later. Now we are going to discuss about these uh, below data types. Just now we discuss these data types. Now we want to create employee number field. So here I am selecting the data type as number. Here click on next. What is the field label you want to get? Field name. So here I am giving the field name as employee Employee. member. Click on next. Next. 
employee number field we are creating. If you click on save and new, this particular field will be saved and we are going to create the new fields. So here I am clicking on the save and new button. Once we click on save and new, that particular field will be saved and we will navigate to this data type selection page again. Are you able to see this? Yes. Yes. So now here I am selecting the data type as click list. Click on next. We are giving the field label as employee designation. So in this what are the values we want to display? We have to give those values. Like whatever the designation. So these are the values we want to display. Like this. Like this, whatever the values. Like whatever the values we want to add, we will add all the values in this list. Mm -hmm. Now here we given the values, but those are not in the sorted order. Right. Like this we will give some values one by one. If you want to sort the values, Alphabetically, here we will check this checkbox. Sort values alphabetically. Okay. Those those values will be sorted automatically. The sorted values we will not able to see here. We will able to see later. Click on next. Click on next. Here we will click on save new button to create the other field. Just minutes. Are you able to see? Yes. yes. Click on save and new. Now we are selecting the data type as pick list of multi select. This one. Pick list of multi select. Mm -hmm. so once we select it, click on next. Here we are giving the field label as known technologies. Next, we can give any field label. We are giving like that. Here, what are the values we want to display? I want to display some options in this drop down. Like this we want to display some options. If you want to sort these options also alphabetically check this checkbox. Sort values alphabetically. Click on next. Next. Here again we will click on this save it to create the other things. So I am clicking the save and new. Now, here I am selecting the data type as date. Are you able to see this? Yes. So I am selecting the data, data type as date. Click on next. Field label. Date of joining. We are giving some name. Click on next. Next. 
here we will click on this save in new button to create the other page i am clicking the save in new now i am going to create the email id field. so what is the data that here we have to select email, email id yes okay so i am selecting the data type as email click on next click on next next here you click on save and you to create the other page so here i am selecting the data type as currency click on next giving the field label as employee commission click on next next finally click on save so if you want to create any other fields then click on save and otherwise click on save so now if you see in the custom fields in the relationship section whatever the custom fields we created those we are able to see here are you able to see this fields now yes see whatever the field label we given and what is the data type we given for date of joining we given the date of joining for commission we given the currency for employee designation it list email id email email known technologies like field label and its data type we are able to see here so how to create this custom fields is clear right yes so like this we can create in one custom object we can create 500 custom fields see now we created six custom fields right in one custom object we can create the maximum limit is only 500 custom fields we can create now in employee object we create some custom fields created the custom fields so in one custom object the limit is we can create 500 custom fields the maximum limit is 500 more than 500 custom fields creation is not possible now we created six custom fields in our object if you want to create other fields also we can create for no 